Okay guys, welcome back. In this 10 minute Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a patrolling enemy. Look, there he goes. Uh, if you get too close to him, he will chase you. But as long as you stay out of his distance, he will leave you alone. Ah! So let's see how this was done. Okay guys, welcome back to another 10 minute Unity tutorial with me, Dr. H, on behalf of Octobeard Media. So in this tutorial, we're going to need an enemy. You may remember we set up the enemy in my first series of tutorials. Here is my enemy, and we're going to use him. Ugh, ugly mug. We're going to give him a patrol path that he can move around, and we're also going to make sure that if he sees us, he's going to come and chase us. Now in order to do this, we're going to need two things. The first thing we're going to need is the enemy controller script which I'm going to drag on to my enemy right here. If you're one of my students, you can find the enemy controller script on the SharePoint. Otherwise, I will put the script at the end of this tutorial. So the enemy controller script already has a few variables over here on the side, a few things we need to drag in. The first thing we need to drag in is the player. It needs to know who the player is, where the player is, so it can chase the player. The next thing we need is the goal. That's also going to be the player. It's also going to be very important to give our enemy some speed. I'm giving him a speed of five, which is an average kind of movement speed. But if he starts chasing, he'll go a lot faster. And the next thing we need is something called a nav mesh. Now, in order to do this, we need to put it on to the character himself. So I'm going to go component, navigation, nav mesh agent. And now that there's a nav mesh agent on my character, I can drag my character, because he's got a nav mesh agent on him, into this box here. So that pretty much takes care of everything that the script does, apart from one final thing. We need to create a patrol path for this character to move along. Now the character could move anywhere. I could move him in between my buildings, I could move him around my scene, I could move him anywhere. And I could just move him backwards and forwards if I wanted to. You can have as many different patrol points for him to go to as you like, but we're just gonna work with four. We're gonna send him round in a simple square pattern. So if I click in four and hit enter, you'll see I get these four elements down here that's gonna hold my transform data. It's gonna tell my enemy where to go. You can use pretty much any game object in the scene, here's the kiddie poster, for its transform data up here, which is what that box is actually looking for. But it's often easier to create new nav points. And the way to do that is to go game object, create empty. So I'm gonna create an empty game object. I'm gonna make sure it's at roughly the right height in my scene. And I'm going to move it back here. This is the first patrol point. This is where he's going to go. And I'm going to call it patrol point. What I'm going to do then is duplicate that with command D. Bring a second one out there. Duplicate it again. Bring another one back there. Duplicate it again and put another one there. But really I can put these patrol points wherever I like. I then click back on the body of my character. And I can start dragging these patrol points in to the nav point down here. Drag that to zero to one, to two, and to three. So if I push play, nothing will happen. There's my scene, there's my character over there, he's not moving. If I get close to him, he's trying to move, you can see him wiggling around. If I get close to him, he will chase me. But that's not what I want. I want him to go on a patrol path. So what I'm going to need is the navigation window. And in order to do that, you go to window, navigation, and it will bring it up either here or tabbed in over here. If I click back on my character over here, you can see he's got a nav mesh agent on him. What that does is it tells him where the scenery is so he doesn't bump into things and where he can and can't go. Now that information could be calculated once per frame, which is 30 times per second, but that really slows the runtime down. So it's better to bake that information so it only has to be recorded once. So what we do is we select all of the scenery, every single thing that's in my scene, not the music, not the patrol points, and then we go to navigation, object, and we mark it as static. Yes, change all of the children, parent-child relationships in here, it'll change everything that's in there. Final thing we do is we go over to bake, and we click bake, and it should turn blue. All of the blue areas are areas that the enemy can go into. All of these areas here, the enemy knows to avoid. Now if I push play, what should happen is my character starts moving on his patrol path, to the patrol points and only if he sees me will he turn and chase me ah scary too scary okay i'm getting out of here <laughs> 